the cake. Oh my lord, this is not the dress. The flowers. Their grandparents. Unbelievable. The tantrums. Yeah, but it's funny how it's stupid. That was just a little bit too fast. The countdown to the wedding is on. Sam and Billy, The Mummy Diaries. This March on ITVB. Wix Kitchens sponsors this morning. Uh, look, we are delighted to say that Kemp has the latest gossip from last night's dancing on ice. Don't say a word, right? Keep it to yourself just for a moment. Before that, we're going to hear from people who are always full of gossip. The Loose Ladies. Good afternoon, guys. Oh, now, the ISIS runaway Shamima Begum is still on all the front pages today, uh, but we are asking about her baby. She says she would have let her first son become an ISIS fighter, so should her newborn be taken away from her. Also today, after Courtney Cox revealed she stopped having fillers and finally accepted aging, we'll reveal which one of us has already paid a visit to the surgeon to ask about a facelift. <laughs> She'd be the first to admit she's been unlucky in love in the past, but now Kerry Katona is ready to date again. Woo! She'll be telling us about searching for the one on celebs go dating and why Brian McFadden is her favourite ex-husband. See you with all that and more at 12.50. Uh, I, I've just followed you, Andrew. That's Gabrielle beside you. I'm just realising that woman has never had a bad record in her life. It's true. It's absolutely true. It's true. Oh, yes. wow. Well. Absolutely true. Uh, still a big fan over here. Uh, see you later, ladies. Sounds like a great show. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Uh, now, competition. 20,000 pounds and luxury trip to Sydney. Is you Sydney. Surprise. Sydney down under. Well, Sydney down under. Oh, Australia. Yeah, Australia. Australia, yeah. Have you ever been to Sydney? I've never been. I'd like to go and I'd like to see the fireworks to Sydney Harbour Bridge. I've seen all that. I've been numerous times. Well, then you'll know how to book the trip. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. Good. Three mo my three favourite places on earth. Sydney, Cape Town, Vancouver. Well, there you go. You've been to any of them? Sydney. Oh, shush. Anyway, here's the car. <laughs> you could be going to Sydney. If you're dreaming of a holiday of a lifetime for you and the family, this prize could quite literally turn your world upside down. Oh, yes, we are giving you the opportunity to win a holiday in the land of Oz. Sydney has it all. Beach, sightseeing, amazing food, and crucially, sunshine. Oh, sunshine, I forgot what it looks like. If you're the lucky winner, you and three guests should be flying to the stunning Harbour City where you'll enjoy a 10-day stay at Hilton, Sydney. Just a stone's throw from Sydney Opera House, the Queen Victoria Building, the vibrant shopping streets, and so much more. And we're feeling a little bit generous, so you don't have to worry about spending money. There's also a cash bonus of £20,000 to go with it. So, that's a 10-day stay in Australia and £20,000 in tax-free cash for your chance to win big. Text BRIDE to 81119. Text plus £2 plus one standard network rate message. Go to our website or enter via the This Morning app. Entries cost £2. Call 09068 781119. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to DY08, PO Box 7558, Derby, DE10MQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close on Friday, the 22nd of February at 3 pm. Good luck. No, amazingly, not only did he do cancel the match, he came fourth. Very last thing now, I can't go for this. Probably the worst one, I think. Well, they, they knew the judges had it yesterday with the double twizzle, swizzle. And uh, I thought they'd never been able to do that last year. But a lot of them were doing it. Wes was the leader of the whole leaderboard last night. And he'd done it without even stepping on his foot once. He was so, and so good. It was amazing. It well. was amazing. But it was, a, it was a double eviction last night. And two had to go. And Jane and Ryan were in the bottom three and, and they've gone home. Do you think they were the right choice last night? I think it's hard because the competition is really tough. And there were some really, really good skaters. And two had to go. And Melody, who was also in it, was great. But I did catch up with Jane and Ryan after. And... They seemed like they were they were quite happy to be done. This is what they said. I'm feeling really good. I felt really happy tonight. There was no falls or anything like that. So no, more out, no more friends. No more friends. Got out on a high. How have you been, big man? Look, you are. They look absolutely amazing. Uh, I think I've come as far as I possibly can. But to get to week seven, I've never in my wildest dreams imagined I'll get to week seven. 
he's tall. He makes me look very, very yeah. short. Yeah, and I think Jane did say at the time, isn't it fine because you know she said the best people have stayed, but she was very gracious. Yeah, she said she was she was happy to play that part. And Melody, who's also in the bottom three, she just felt like she had so much more to give. She she kind of said she messed up at one point in her routine, and, and that's oh, brilliant. look at that. Look, look at that. It's yeah. literally amazing. And she had a former Pussycat Doll member, Ashley Roberts, there supporting her. With Giovanni. With Giovanni, the yeah. new squeeze. Yeah, her new squeeze, there he is. Yeah, giving her lots of support. I mean, she was incredible last she night, was. even though, like you said, she did mess up. Yeah, and I caught up with Ashley afterwards, and she was so supportive, is what she said. I think she's done amazing. I mean, the song is perfect, too. You never want to be this kid after coming out with that fighting song from Christina. I knew she was going to love it. She goes, how is it like being best friend with you? It's like cheering you on, supporting you. Honestly, the whole time I was going, I'm so glad she's here. <laughs> Mama needs a hug. Mama needs a hug. It was nice to see her with uh, Giovanni first time. I think that's we've seen them together since Strictly, because obviously when they were together on there, no one really knew what was going on. So they seem to be an item now. Just, what's going on with you? I mean, this track. You weren't with that nice girl that you, you met in Love Island. I'm not here to talk no. about my but, 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 Are you with Si? I just worry. I'm not. I'm single. I'm, I'm right, keeping. Well, doesn't surprise me doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? Anyway. Let's, let's talk about love. While we're on the let's, topic, yes. there was that love. Yeah. Someone proposed yesterday at Dance of the Nights. One oh. of the riggers, Toby, he planned it for like two months and uh, he'd come away from the rig and he had his uh, partner there and he proposed. Oh, he could not believe it. People. He got all the pros involved. They'd come out with roses. It was honestly. So this wasn't all there. No, this, this was, was an hour point. before. Oh, look at her. Obviously, she said yes. It was so, so sweet, and I, uh, I caught yeah. up with, with them after they were a little bit yeah. nice. There's quite a lot of pressure. She didn't know what was going to happen. Overwhelming. She's there in front of all these people. He's oh. proposed. All these pyros, yeah. fireworks coming. Yeah. They seem so happy. Yeah. Yeah. This is what she said. Would it not? Thank you. Thank you. Not Sure, he's fine. Well, I know the look at you. you that's just the look at time. you. And you're, you're, going, you're blushing, like, and you're, yeah. you're, you're making me nervous. You're making me nervous. But Sarah also last night, her performance was amazing. She done a routine that was that was so good. But she done this move that kind of oh, never heard of. The blade. Oh, you never heard of it? Yeah, the blade. Like, like, cut his hand. So you, you heard of the that head back? Oh, that, you know, look at that! Look at that! Oh, Sarah head hit the ground there. Oh. And then, yeah, let's see that again. Can we see that again? That, that was absolutely amazing. But then Christopher Dean went, all you have to do is lie back and enjoy the ride, he said. That's what he said. Yes. Look at this. That is oh. amazing. Ooh. Jason actually said, that oh. looked like you were swinging around a zebra crossing. <laughs> Which is very funny, actually. It is uh, funny, but I but think they're not giving credit for how amazing that move is. Like, would you do that, would you get some? That reminds me of, you know when you go into a fun thing, you get one of those octopus type things that spin right. around like that, and that's pretty scary. <laughs> well, I did catch up with her afterwards, and she just seemed a little bit down in the dumps after that performance. We feel good about the performance. Not about the comments, though. They were pretty, pretty hard. It was hard. What do you feel about, Je about Jane and Chris? Completely different scores. Well, that's the first. It's just that, like, I, I agree with Chris. I, I thought we start almost has really good speed. I mean, at this, this time, I don't agree with Jane's comments. It's Chris. I think he pretty much scored it as it was. So. Mm -hmm. So a blade banger is a head banger, but more dangerous. Yeah, so instead of getting swung by by the ankle, yeah. by the actual blade. Yeah, she had her blade. So I, mean, I, I thought, thought she did an amazing job. I wanted to come dance on our song with Annie. We'll give it a go, me and you. We'll do the head banger. Have you done the double twist? Don't make me laugh and start coughing <laughs> in. Both you done. So the, the double twist was yesterday's judges' challenge, and I thought I'd give it a go, because I thought, if you're gone, surely I haven't lost it. <laughs> 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 I gave it a go anyway. Let's have a look. <laughs> Coaches were laughing at me. I yeah. didn't think that no, was No, you that. haven't lost it. Do you not think I've lost yeah, it? You haven't lost it. They've done an all-stars. Look at that. Look. I Whoa. thought you looked very confident there. It was because they, they were taking girls from Finland. They were moving away from you rather than pushing them. That's not bad. Okay. I wanted to impress her. But um, <laughs> Brian yesterday, he's with my old partner Alex yeah. from last year, and he was so nervous because every week he's either had like a fall or a bit of a slip or he dropped them. But yesterday it went perfect. He got his highest score.